Hey everybody, I hope you guys are all doing okay and welcome back to our Might and Magic 8 completionist run. Now, remember last episode and the, the episodes before that where I was talking about how we were going to be advancing the main quest and how excited I was to do that and how glad I was that we'd gotten everything else done that we needed to do before that? Well... I, uh, you can probably guess this from my tone, but what I'm about to tell you is, well, basically, I lied. There, we can't do the, uh, main quest advancement just yet. There is one thing left for us to do, and you may be wondering, well, what is that one thing? Well, strictly speaking, we don't have to do it right now, but there is one side quest that we haven't done, that we, in fact, haven't even picked up. And, uh... I'd rather get that quest done before we then uh, advance the main quest, because that'll open up a whole different part of the game, and I'd rather not have unfinished business in the early parts. So, as luck would have it, the quest... Uh, should be in this zone that we are in, this very zone. And this, the story of how I missed this quest is actually pretty interesting. I'll, I'll talk about it as we're going towards it. I think it's Tessalar's house. Yes, this is the quest, the promotion to Minotaur Lord quest. Um, let's listen to what he has to say, or rather, let's quickly skim over this uh, text that he's thrown at us. Only Masul. Okay, that checks out. One way to prove your worth is to recover Masul's father's axe, the axe of Balthazar from the bowels of the minds of the Dark Dwarves. Okay. Interesting. And, uh... So, this is actually a multi-stage quest. So first, we're gonna have to find the minds of the Dark Dwarves, which he tells us... No, he doesn't tell us, uh, but uh, they are in Alvar. It just so happens that Dedros is working for the people in Alvar. Don't think he tells us where they are. They borrow up, nothing is left behind. Okay. So, I know where to go to complete this quest. But, uh, from the text, I don't know if I. I might have glossed over that part, but we've got to first find the axe, which is in the Dark Dwarf compound, which is in Alvar, even though he doesn't mention that. Then we've got to take it to Dead Rose. The uh, caravan leader who we met way back uh, in the uh, Dagger Wound Islands. And uh, then, subsequently, we, once it's been verified that we have the uh, correct axe, have to bring it back uh, to him. I, uh, to him? Oh, wait, or... I guess we gotta bring it back to him. He doesn't seem to have a dialogue for that, a dialogue option for that just yet. I think that'll appear once we've done the, uh... the authentication with Dedros. So... Yes, there's no reason not to just get into it. We're gonna have to go to Alvar. We're gonna have to start casting our uh, important spells. Day of the Gods, Hour of Power. Day of Protection. Flight, sure, even though the compound is very close to town. The, uh, the dungeon that we're gonna be going into. Torchlight as well. Even though it's bright outside, but we're going to be going underground soon. So, gonna have to make sure things are well lit. And I 
think Day of the Gods is the last spell that we need to cast, and we are ready to go. So, the Dark Dwarf compound, as I mentioned, is very close to town. I mean, it's... it's you can almost... You can almost see it from a... Almost, but not quite, <laughs> see it from the uh, Guild of Elements. So, I mean, it's very, very <laughs> suspiciously close. But anyway, we've got to go inside, and there are a few things we, we need to... Get her. Sorry, Blackthorn, despite being level 68 and ready to gain more levels, is afraid of getting hurt. Although, I shouldn't mock her because there are some uh, dangerous enemies inside this area. Some deadly traps as well. And, uh... I'm being cautious while moving through because I don't want to be ambushed. Oh yeah, okay, these rocks are really annoying enemies. Oh oh. We want to take them down from a distance if at all possible. Okay. So far, so, so good. And. Whose inventory is the least cluttered? I guess yours. I am looting their corpses because they do drop gemstones, and you might be wondering what's the point of looting them for gem for gemstones if you're just gonna throw them on the ground. Gemstones, of course, are useless items with an asterisk. Uh with a bit of a caveat, uh, there is a tree in Murmurwoods which interacts with you if you have gemstones in your inventory and different ones will give you different, different effects, different outcomes, but most of them I don't care about. In fact, the only one that I consider to be useful is the diamond, which not only is the most... Oh boy, what, what's going on? Which not only is the most expensive gem, but... You know, so if you wanted to sell it, you could sell it for 3,000. Oh god, stuff is already getting broken. I've repaired it. Fortunately, you are Grandmaster in repairing There's items. No room in the pack. So... Shouldn't... Have to worry too much about our gear being broken. But as I was saying, not only are diamonds the most expensive, you could sell them if you were so inclined, but if you take them to that tree, that's a fancy looking spear, worthless. but I will agree with Ethelgore, it is indeed worthless. 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 Yeah, I don't, I don't expect to find anything interesting in these chests. Leave it. Ah, this ring is... Oh, alright. Well, I take that back. Leave it. This ring is decent just because it gives you a tiny boost to every single thing, which once your stats get high enough, it gets harder and harder to get even small boosts out of it. So you know what? Fine. I'll take plus one to everything, you know, including your resistances. That's nice. But by and large, I don't expect to find anything too fascinating in this zone, aside from, of course, the quest item. And the... oh, well, and one more thing, which I'm, uh, I'm going to keep it as a surprise for now. But I do want to, before I go into the next zone... Make sure that we've been taking everything out. And I'm coming to the conclusion that these people are not these rocks that we're killing. This is the, uh, this is the quest item, by the way. We've already found it, but... It won't fit. Only you can hold it. Okay. 
I was worried that we wouldn't have... Ooh, another Ring of Doom. I'll Leave hold it. on to that. I'll wear it, in fact. We get another plus one to everything. And yeah, that was the only chest there. Before I move on to the uh, next zone in this area, let's just... I think this might have been where we came from. Is it? Yes. This is uh, the way out. Okay. So I think we're done with the... Uh, this part of the Dark Dwarf Mines. The Dark Dwarf Compound. And now we've got to move into the uh, the next area. And I guess we can open the door. Oh boy, immediately greeted by a, a trap, I think. I think that's rigged to, yep. It's rigged to fire from you interacting with the door. I'm gonna actually take a bit of a breather at this spot because we, uh, can we do anything with this? Well, no we can't. Because we are gonna have a tough little sequence coming up and uh, I want to take it nice and slow. While we're taking it nice and slow, I uh, want to talk about uh, how it is that I nearly missed this quest altogether, this dungeon. So as I mentioned earlier, last video at the end, I said, you know, we're done with everything else. We're ready to move on with the main quest. Like, we're done with all the side quests. We're done with most of our, you know, little chores, little running around, getting training. But all the while, we'd never picked up or done this quest. Now, there's a bit of a lesson to be learned in there, in that it's largely due to my hubris my overconfidence. I'm just gonna take all of these for myself. The main character, of course, being my avatar in this game. Uh, you know, a version of myself. Ooh, you can see traps on the ground. Let's leave that area alone for now. Ooh, nice feast spread out on this table. So, there are a few things that led to me nearly missing out on this quest. First of all, I never picked it up. And the reason I never picked it up is because it is uh, given to you by someone in uh, the... Uh, in Balthazar Lair, in the underground labyrinth, which is home to the Minotaurs. And when I say labyrinth, I mean that Basically, it is literally a labyrinth. It's a maze, and it makes sense for it to be a maze because, you know, if you go back to Greek mythology, the Minotaur, you know, the monster that uh, I think Theseus killed, right, was found at the center of a labyrinth. So that's why, you know, in modern role playing games, Minotaurs will often be associated with these long winding mazes and because their uh, underground city is a labyrinth you know with tunnels and offshoots it's not an open city where you can just be like okay i'll explore the northwestern side then the southwestern and then in an orderly fashion go through th the entire city and that you've got to think more along the lines of okay which tunnel have i not gone down which path and some of them are very hard to read on the map so I thought I had spoken to everybody in Balthazar Lair but as it turned out there was one house that I simply just I walked past and <laughs> never talked to the person inside and that house as it turned out was Leave it. the home of the quest giver okay, this is interesting it makes sense to give it to the person 
so resistant to sleep. It makes sense to give it to the person who can cast Awaken. Fantastic. So, I never picked up the quest. That was one part of why I nearly missed out on doing it. The other part, of course, was... Okay, so I never went to that house. I should have at least been aware that I was missing out on a quest. Oh god, this... This corridor... Okay. I didn't realize that I was standing on top of a trap. I thought they started later than that. Let's just cast a few heals. Our heals are pretty powerful. Yeah, look at the big chunks of our health bar that we're getting back. For not even a lot of uh, mana that we're spending. So... Yes, as I was saying, I now realize and I now have rectified that in that I'm keeping a list of the quests in the game similar to the other lists I've been keeping, like lists of artifacts and relics and lists of uh, the stat challenge pedestals. I didn't keep a list of the uh, quests in this game because for no other reason than I was overconfident. I thought that I knew this game so well. I have no idea. Ooh, is this? Leave it. Oh, I thought this was going to be one of the uh, items that we were looking for. Leave it. Leave it. Worthless. Not really interested in any Leave of these. It. Worthless. Yeah, so I was so overconfident. I'm like, I've played this game so many times. I've done every quest so many times. I don't need to keep a list of all the quests. But, as it turned out, I completely forgot this one. And it never even occurred to me that we were missing out on a quest, because it is the Minotaur promotion quest, and we don't have any Minotaurs in our uh, party. Even our tentative other, you know, partial part-time party members like Veteranus Talishire, like he's a lich. So there are no Minotaurs that uh, I was going to bring into my party on a permanent basis. Which is why I wasn't even thinking of the Minotaur Worthless. promotion quest. Leave it. I mean, that's Worthless. one thing that could have reminded me that I was... Uh, perhaps forgetting a little something. So I completely blanked on this one quest and didn't even realize that I was missing out on it. In fact, the only thing that re reminded me... Oh god, oh, this is awful. The thing that reminded me in the end that I was missing out on a quest wasn't even, you know, me thinking about quests or anything like that. It's because there is a special item in this area. It is down. A special item other than the quest item that we've just picked up. And I think it should be... Well. In one of these chests towards the end. You know what? I am such an idiot. Won't levitate? Levitate will stop us from setting these traps off. I didn't have to do any of this <laughs> goofy, you know, incompetent <laughs> platforming that I've been doing, you know, jumping across and taking cover behind, you know, the. Uh, God, I'm such a fool. But, you know, at least I realized it before the end. This is the item. You can tell because it, it's got a graphic that is unlike any other ring graphic in this game. I like we this identify game. it and it is the Ring of Planes. So I was looking through the list of artifacts and relics 
that we have yet to find. And I noticed that we hadn't found the Ring of Planes yet, and I was wondering why that had happened, because I knew it wasn't one of the randomly spawning ones. We found all of those. I'm just gonna give this to myself, and even to boost my resistances even more. So I was like, where is this item? I was like, we should have found it by now. And when I looked up the area that it was in, I was like, oh, the Dark Dwarf Compound. And I was like, wait a second, why haven't we been there yet? Like, is it a is it an optional area? Isn't there a quest that takes us there? And then I realized, oh, of course, it's the Leave it. Minotaur promotion quest, which we never picked up. And then I felt really foolish. Are you the last enemy in this area? You might be. We'll sweep around and see. Worthless. Leave it. Worthless. And we'll see if we've Leave indeed it. killed everyone. Am I ready to level up? I am not. Not quite ready for a level up. So yes, the thing that finally clued me in that I was missing out on the quest was purely through... purely by chance. It's because this area happened to also have an artifact in it. And then I was like, well, you know, why haven't we found this artifact yet? And then that's what led me to realize the grievous oversight <laughs> that I had committed. And walked all the way back it's seeming like there's nothing left to be done okay now the next stage in this quest is to take this axe to Dedros and then bring it back to uh, to um what's his name Te Tesselar, a Telesar, something like that. Purple barrel, you know what? I'll I'll give that to Yeah no, we're not giving speed to you yet. I'll give that to uh, you. You can have some speed. Leanne Stormlance, you can have some speed. And before we talk to Dead Rose, I just want to check something is uh and i'm pretty sure we've already done this but i just want to make sure so we've already won this but have you played this y you you already have okay so we've already beaten that particular challenge that stat pedestal with the Leanne in our party. That was just one thing I wanted to check. Okay, blue and red. Red I can take for myself. Blue I'll also take. Oh, I, I probably should have given it to Elspeth. What never mind. It's fine. But let's talk to yeah, let's let's kill the kill this dude. I got it! Yeah. How much experience did that Dude, give us eh, not that much. Surprisingly, not that much. Ooh, another blue barrel. This one I'll give to Elspeth. And red and white. I'll take both of these. Come on. Come on. Alright. Uh, just a few, you know, permanent stat bonuses, why not, if they're on offer. Okay, now let's hope that Dedros is still where we left him. Orange can go to you. Yeah, nope. Orange can go to you. Yes, he is. Okay, okay Dedros. Balthazar of Ravage Roaming. 
The Axe of Balthazar, here we go. Of course I would know Balthazar's axe if I saw it. Do you have it with you? This is the axe. Must take it back to Tessalar. Okay, and take this letter with you. It could carries his personal seal. All right, I'll hold on to that. What what else does he say? You found Balthazar's axe, and I have authenticated it. Uh, hurry back. Will do, sir. Will do. I do want to just uh, make sure I'm not missing out on anything. All right, let's now head back to Balthazar Lair. Before we head back to Tesla, I just want to check something. It's been a couple of days, a few days since my last gaming session. I want to check whether this shop has reset, because I think we are going to be doing some training at the end of this video. It's closed. This place is closed. Got some good stuff here. You have not reset. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. It's closed. We got some good stuff here. Pure speed. I don't know how I missed out on this. Oh, I, I guess I never checked his special uh, stock. But he's got some good stuff. I'll take this. I'll even take the pure speed. Uh, freezing, want of blasting. Thanks for the business. All right, I'll give this pure speed to you. Oh, oh, oh. Another black potion for the collection, and I also bought this Ring of Freedom. I'll give this to myself, because I am casting Cure Paralysis. Or like, Or I can cast Cure, pra cure Paralysis, and it makes sense for the person who can cure the condition to be immune from it because it would be pretty sad if your only uh, party member who can cure something debilitating is himself struck down by that very thing. Alright, let's talk to Tessalar. Hand in this quest. Promoted our minotaurs and now I think we're going to do some training. And we're going to end off with one last little thing, but before that I've got to remember how to navigate this place, and I think we're going in the right direction. That's the shaman. This should be the bank and the training hall coming up. Bank, indeed. Training hall, random shield on the ground. Sure, Balthazar Academy. Save our game in a different slot, why not? Here for instruction? Well done! Let's get our level and now we are so close to be able, being able to get Grand Master Spirit Magic. In fact, if we can get one more diamond out of the magic shop, we will be able to get Grandmaster Spirit Magic. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to... Go... Back... Here... Save... In... Uh, this slot. Got some good stuff here. You have not reset. Okay, so I'll load this game. This is while we were still outside Balthazar here Academy. Now I'll train you. Well done. Being 
cautious because we have also gone into another month and I want to collect a bounty as well while we're at it so I don't want to waste too much time too much in-game time might waste some real time from my own life uh, I've walked too far I guess I'll just save the game at that point and hopefully we got some good stuff here. Yeah, it's reset it has indeed reset pure accuracy but no diamond so we're gonna be loading our game we got some good stuff until we get at least one diamond one diamond will do do the job for us multiple diamonds of course I'll take occasionally at least once we've gotten lucky enough in the past we got some good stuff here to get multiple diamonds spawned and importantly they can spawn in his standards uh, you see his standard as well as his special in this case we got only one diamond from his standard and uh, let's just check what else he has Okay, so 10 to 2 different stats is decent, however, there is an, another enchantment called Off the Gods, which gives plus 10 to all stats. So it's like this, but even better. That, so if we're looking for a stat-boosting ring, I think that would be the way to go. Endurance armor hit points is good, but it's not the top-tier gauntlet. Thanks for the business. Because top tier gauntlets look like uh, like this. We've got a couple of those. Anyway, so we've gotten our uh, diamond. Put that in my inventory. And now let's close out this video. Well, first of all, let's go to Ravenshore and let's see if we can collect a bounty. And then we'll go to Murmur Woods. We're gonna get our Grand Master, uh, our Grand Mastery, in our three magic schools. And there's a couple uh, light magic spells that we have yet to pick up as well. We'll do those. Save my game here. This one's bounty is on a fire elemental. We're not going into the plains yet. Cyclops Hunter. I'd rather it be in a place that I can uh, portal to. Greater Water Elemental. I just so wish I could do that. Regnan Crosswoman again. An enemy type from an area we haven't been in. Again, an enemy type from one of the plains that we are not entering yet. I'm not killing peasants. Grand Phoenix again, being taunted with all these. Okay, Cyclops Warrior. Even though we're going to have to go to a different... We're going to have to make a bit of a detour to do this. It is worth it because it's a nice, chunky bounty. Cyclops Warrior, right? Alright, so we'll quickly, we'll quickly do that. Then we'll quickly go back to Murmur Woods. And then we'll quickly wrap this video up. Alright, uh, Cyclops Warrior was uh, our... Was our target. So let's try and take care of this as quickly as we can. I don't know it. 
There we go. I don't know. Where is he? There he is. Not gonna bother casting my buffs because we only like we came here only to kill this one dude. Now we're just gonna back off until we are given the green light, and now we'll just fly back to Ravenshore or Town Portal back to Ravenshore. Collect this bounty, and then go to Murmurwoods, do our training. 4800. We're still only journeyman bounty hunters. Now, let's go back to Alvar. And let's try and make this as quick as possible. All right, let's let's do this. Here we go. We're out of food. Hang on. Uh, yeah, you know what? We'll we'll buy food. It'll be quicker to just town portal back to Alvar, honestly, and uh, it'll save us the flight time. Oh god, uh, it's all falling apart. Your supplies. Fifteen food will do for now. All right, let's let's fly. Let's fly. Let's hurry. Let's do this. It's taken long enough already, and then we can finally we can finally end this video and be ready to actually advance the main quest. Come on, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Not gonna bother casting spells or buffs. I'll just cast a wizard eye. Uh, just to make sure we're not running into any crowds of enemies. Because. Don't want to be bothered as I. Ooh, well, actually, we are kind of gonna need invisibility because. Because. We need to find our tree. Remember, it is this arrow in the ground that is pointing towards this tree. And interacting with this tree with diamonds in your inventory will consume those diamonds and give you horseshoes. Horseshoes, of course, will give you two skill points each. And skill points are wonderful because they will allow you to level up your skills. Right now, let's go back to town. Let's do the thing that we came here to do. Oh, 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 nearly voided my invisibility by running too close to that wisp. All right. So the houses of the Grand Master Teacher should be along the eastern side of town. Give me that. Not you, but you give me that. And Dantillion, you... L light magic, no. Is it? It's not this person. Well, we can buy some Join the party. Any delicacy you like. good amount of food. But where is the last person? Is it you? Ravenside, it is you. Right now, let's Very good. learn a new spell. Very good. These spells that we've been lugging around for a, a long while and. Isn't that beautiful? Completely filled spellbooks for spirit, mind, and body. And also, healing is even better right now. And power cure. We can heal every single party member. In ter and in even in terms of single, like healing for single people, it's like for single targets, it is better than heal but it costs 15 times the spell points so if you have time you'd rather use heal if you don't have time and you want to heal everyone at once you can use power cure fantastic there is one other thing we need to do there's a couple light magic spells that we have yet to uh, get so we've got Ten, we've got nine right now. Uh, four here, five here. 
What we need is uh, a total of 11. So obviously Divine Intervention is one of them and... Sunray, maybe? Nope. Is it Prismatic Light? What is it? It's not Prismatic Light. It's not Sunray. Is it... It's it's not Dispel Magic. It's not Summon Wisp. Is Light Bolt? Is that it? A new spell. There we go, Light Bolt. So you know what? I, d I don't want to have a useless a spell in my inventory, so let's knowledge. buy only the ones we need, because there isn't any shop in uh, this town for us to sell our things. Very good. So I'll give this to you, and you can just hold on to Divine Intervention until we get Grandmaster Light Magic, which won't be for a while, but okay, finally... We are done with this episode. So let's recap what we did. We came here, or rather we went to the Dark Dwarf compound in Alvar in a bid to correct a major oversight that I had committed. I would completely forgotten about a side quest and we finally took care of it. And now I have checked, and we have indeed done everything, and next episode we will indeed be ready to progress with the main quest and to move into the next stage of the game, and I'm really glad we got this taken care of. Now, I guess in a way it wasn't a fatal mistake that I committed, forgetting the, uh, the quest, because quests you can always do. Right, there aren't any situations in this game where quests become unattainable. Not like, you know, the uh, like the Mr. Malvik situation in Might Magic 7. There's nothing like that in this game. So we could have always done this quest at some point. However, it would have been pretty embarrassing for me to go through most of the game thinking I've done everything and then all of a sudden realize that that, that there was an entire dungeon, an entire quest that, that I'd simply forgotten about. It would have, uh, if nothing else, it would have killed the moment at the end when I thought I'd completed this game 100% and then realized that this one tiny trivial thing was left. So, because it's helped us avoid that, I do think it's a, a very good thing indeed that we've gotten this quest taken care of. Not just that, but we also found another artifact, the Ring of Planes. In fact, I need to consult my list, my physical list that I've been keeping on my notebook and mark off the Ring of Planes as having been found. Now, there are only a few things remaining to be found. They are all, of course, in a fixed locations, which we will find as and when we get to them, but none of them are in areas that we can access right now. So in terms of a... In terms of artifacts that we can get based on the stage of the game that we're at, we've gotten all of them so far. So that was another yeah, another wonderful bit of progress. Another artifact checked off the list. But yes, we capped off that bit of uh, quest progress, that artifact progress with some skill progress. Finally becoming Grand Master in all of our uh, spell schools that we specialize in. All we're waiting for is the Grand Master teacher in Regna. It's not gonna happen for a while. And now we can also start putting points into other things. We can eventually become Master in Shield. I w like we might as well. We'll start putting some points into Meditation. A few extra skill points for that. Uh, so a few extra spell points out of that. Help us cast our heals. And of course we'll eventually become Master Mace. That is all for the future though. For now. 
for now. It is time to close things off. <laughs> thank you so much for watching and thank you for bearing with me as I stumble my way through this game that I thought I knew so well, but uh, evidently I think we all need lessons like this every once in a while in life just to remind us to sit down and be humble because uh, as much as we might think we know something perfectly often we don't so it's it's, it's good to always double check things and not and not just assume you know because you might have forgotten something important and on that little <laughs> nugget of wisdom i think it is time to end things off thank you so much for watching hope you had a good time if you're enjoying well if you've liked this video do consider leaving a like and if you're enjoying the series do consider subscribing as well but in either case i'm just glad to have you along and hope you'll stick around for the next episode as well and uh until then Take care.